Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. And in today's episode, we're gonna take a look how to obtain Artifact of the Sky Lord. There are six artifacts in total, and they are needed to summon the Broodmother. But we will start with this one, because in my opinion, it's one of the more complicated ones. To get in into the cave, you would need to travel to this frost area. As you could see on the map, I'm located where basically at near the cove where it makes like a U. But I think I'm slightly wrong on the map because I think this is where it makes a U. I'm also going to include right here a map from Wiki that also illustrates the location that shows it at the mouth of you. I think that the map is not 100% precise on your current location. That if I move in, it seems that I am moving down. But I'm actually moving forward into the map. Now, once you located the cave, there's several things that you should know. You should not go in, highly not recommended unless you're extremely high level with dinos or particular mods on the server. And the second of all, you will need a torch or some kind of a light. For example, a headlamp would also work. Also, please note that once you're approaching the cave entrance, you will need to duck to get in. Now, I'm going to walk you through straight to the artifact of the Sky Lord. Please note that the creatures you're going to face again depend on the form of the server you're playing and the settings on the server. So, as you duck, you progress forward. Please note that there is nothing on either side of here. You will keep going forward and then you come up here where you see these spikes right over here. Now, there are plenty of ways you can go, but the way that I found, you would head to the right. Meaning, from there, you follow the right-hand wall, you keep following the right-hand wall, and then you would come up on this little passageway right over here. As you can see, just keep following the right hand side, you end up at this little passage right here. Now again, you duck and you crawl through the passage. Now, as you pass the little entrance, which is right over here, you would continue on with having the wall on your right hand side. Please ignore those passages, that is not the way you need to go. The direction that you would need to go would be this way. As you could see, you could see the snow. You know, this is the, how you know if you're going in the right direction. Look for the snow. Then you would continue with going down with having the wall on your right hand side. Please note that if you're gonna try to pass in groups here, it's impossible. You have to go in a single file formation, one person at a time. And as you progress forward, you would come up right on the artifact container. Please note that you should loot it from here, don't really jump down. And there you have it, the artifact of the Skylord. Once you loot it, the thing breaks down and you could wait for another respawn. I would not highly recommend jumping down to loot the artifact because you could uh, perfectly fine loot it from the ledge for one simple reason that it becomes a lot more complicated on getting out. Now you have to traverse yourself downward and so on unless of course you brought in with you some building things that you could build up and then jump back up there so i highly recommend just loot it from the ledge next on the list will be the artifact of the devourer so please check out the next video